What is good Hellraiser? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Today we're going to be looking at the Black Ops AUG and of course we're going to be evaluating the free blueprints that you can unlock. Uh, we might take a look at the ones that you can buy. Of course the AUG was the main uh, tactical rifle with the uh, huge uh, meta alongside of course the DMR. The DMR had uh, the meta before and then came the AUG but both of them had very huge uh, meta scenes. Uh, everybody was posting about it on YouTube a while ago. That was a f f few years ago I think but yeah tactical rifles uh, you know they do have their time some people sometimes they have a phase that people use it and other times they don't right now I'm not really certain I see anybody using these uh, tactical rifles uh, but again so it could always come back as a ground loot something you picked up or uh, something interesting that you're uh, you're willing to either um, get the camo for or level up so at the store if you can see they did uh, sort of do a lot on them they had the Racer 02, which is an ultra uh, blueprint, the Flying Dutchman, which is oh yeah, this is the one that I picked up from the ground. All right, this was a it's a pretty nice one to be honest. I uh, I, I think I saw this like, maybe once. That's it, but uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty nice when you have it in hand. You have the Aztec Assassin Season 2, the uh, Golden AGUX. Honestly, all these are pretty nice. Headstone Season 4. We have the Solo Flare. Season 4, Popstar 2, Season 3, Toxic Containment, Season 3, Trial Scoop, Season 5, Sudden Bite, Season 4, and then Tanner and Crimson. But anyways, let's take a look at the ones that actually do matter, the free ones. So you can unlock really three of them. You have Shell Shock, which is a rare blueprint from Season 4, a uh, pre-integration of uh, Vanguard into Warzone. You have Emerald Archer, which is Season 2, pre-integration of Vanguard into Warzone. And Anodized Carbon, Season 3, pre-integration of, War of uh, um, uh, Vanguard into Warzone. Now let's start by the Shell Shock. This is the one that most people know just because um, it was a ground loop for a long time. And... <coughs> Sorry about that. So the attachment for that one are the flash guard 5.56 muzzle, the 17 titanium barrel, and the hangman RF optics. Now to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the hangman optics, so I do tend to uh, forget that optic. I don't. I, don't, I use it once in the uh, Swiss cave because I didn't have it unlocked, and it was the most horrible experience ever. So I suggest you stay away from that. Other, otherwise, you have the emerald archer which I chose because it is the best uh, blueprint that you want to have on this weapon. Uh, season 2, basically you have the uh, infantry compensator muzzle, you have the quick dot LED for the optics, you have the CQB pad for the stock, you have the SASR jungle grip for the rear grip, and you have the bruiser grip for the underbarrel. I'll show you guys the HD uh, 3D cutscene before moving on. Pretty nice on HD, to be honest. It's very high definition. It's a very, very high definition uh, blueprint. All right. Last but not least is the anodized carbon. Now, this is the one that a lot of people um, saw and got interested in the in the AUG because it's very nice. So a lot of people will play with this one, especially streamers and people will wonder what weapon this is. So this is the AUG. If you see, it's a very nicely made. It's very clean, very crisp. Now, as far as the attachments, they're pretty weird, but I mean, whatever flows through boot. You have the silencer muzzle, which is all right. It's not bad. At least it conceals your position. Uh, but of course, the best would be the AGC suppressor. But here, okay, silencer. Tiger team spotlight for that added accuracy. You have the hangman RF again. Uh, it's good for that range, but it's really bad for, for aiming. And then you have the marathon stock that increases your mobility and the front grip for that horizontal recoil control. 
So all in all, so it's, it's not that bad. Um, I think aesthetic wise, it's uh, it's better than uh, the way it performs. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the AUG. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, of course, if, any, if you have any other weapon you want to see, just let me know in the comment section. If it's I'm not if it's not already done, check my channel. I do pretty much every single gun. Um, but yeah, I also put a few footage of uh, some nice kills and a payload win. Uh, so enjoy that, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy. One guy's down. He's dead. Reinforcements have arrived. We've stopped.